Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on Twitter at AKNacer. We've got a really cool tutorial for you today. What we're doing is we're taking this portrait by Daniel. It's already a great portrait. There's just a couple things that I think could be improved on it, mostly to do with color, and then we're gonna add some styling to it too. So if you guys are kind of suffering from these issues, I'm gonna show you how to fix them like that. Pow. Let's go ahead and do some Photoshop. What we've got here is a really cool image, and uh, this is, I, I do like the portrait. It's uh, kind of like, the opposite of what I think logically I would do because he's looking off to the left and uh, he's got all this room to the right. Usually you give people a little more space to, on the way that they're looking, but in this case it actually really works. So it's, uh, I guess there is no rule. There's just acceptance to the rule. Okay, the first thing I wanna do, let's go ahead and clean his hair up just a bit. I'm gonna hit Command J on this layer and it's gonna duplicate the layer. Then let's go up here to filter. Let's go down here to liquify. So we're just gonna give his hair a little bit of a, a little bit of liquify. I'm gonna zoom in there and then hold down the space bar to kinda, there we go, come over here. It's just a little bit like crazy right now. So what we're gonna do, let's make our brush size a little bit larger here. Just kinda, let's push this area down and then we're gonna push this area up here. Just kinda like get it look like it's kinda doing the same thing, you know? Not like, oh, you have a lot of really crazy weird hair. Um, it's gonna be like, oh, you have a hairstyle. <laughs> I, that, was, that was a little bit mean, but that is what I think we are trying to do here. All right, hey, I've had these hair days myself, so I'm, I'm, I'm in there with you. All right, let's hit okay. And we have that. So you can see it's like a relatively simple change, especially at this point. Now the next thing I'm gonna do, let's create a new layer, and I'm just gonna zoom in relatively close actually, and uh, we're gonna take care of quite a bit of this hair that's like right around here. Um, and I'm using the clone stamp tool for this. So S for the clone stamp tool. And all I did was sample just to the left of the hair there. And now I'm just painting in right over here. There we go. And you can see this is like, it doesn't really take that long. It's simple and it's relatively easy as well. And I've just got a really small brush and I'm just going in here right, right to the very edge. And you know what, I'm gonna take away this and. We're even gonna give him some, uh, we're gonna go all the way to the eyeball here. I'm going balls deep here. <laughs> eyeballs deep, that is. All right, there we go. Sometimes you gotta go balls deep. There we go, that looks pretty good. Now let's make our brush a little bit bigger and we're just gonna kind of paint this in here because I don't, I don't know if he needs that much of a, of a fringe there. All right, there we go, and we'll come all the way up here. All right, cool, and we're looking better. So this is about what we wanted to do here. You know, nothing crazy, just like a little bit of, hey, let's fix his hair up a little bit. You can make your brush really small and then kind of like paint in some hair there. Hair is kind of fun, it's like a challenge. And uh, the best way to do it is just like create a really small brush and just do stuff like this. All right. Cool, and there we have something that looks pretty natural. So you can see it's just like, oh good, now I can see his eye, instead of the like giant uh, bush. <laughs> it's like an eye bush. Okay, so really quick, let's just hit Command G, group those together, so we can see that's like hair. And that didn't take really that long, and it, it really, it just, it just completes the portrait a little bit more. The next thing we're going to do, we're not gonna worry about retouching a whole lot. We're just, let's just create a new layer, and uh, here with my, I'm gonna hit J for the healing brush tool. There we go. Not a whole lot of retouching. Guys, usually I keep like relatively on the, you know, on the normal scale of things. You just don't want a guy looking too pretty. There's, they should, you know, a little bit of gruff. Chicks dig scars and stuff, so, you know. There's like, guys can be good looking, but you don't want to, you don't want to be like, that's a pretty guy. Well, I guess you could, but uh, <laughs> I think rugged and handsome are words that guys want to be described as, not pretty. What would I know? It's not like I've ever been a guy. Sounds nice. All right, there we go. So we're just doing a little bit of this retouching. And you can see I'm just kind of sampling and painting around. Not taking a ton of time here, but like enough to, enough to get the idea across of what we want to do here. All right. And this is a step you don't really want to rush. 
there's no reason. It's kind of fun. You just sit here and like touch this, you know, tablet over and over again. So there's no real reason to rush. Just like turn on some good music and crank. There we go. So there's like the before and after. And that's just with the healing brush tool. Didn't take too long. Now the next thing I want to do, let's just clean up a little bit of inconsistency there in his beard here. There we go. The next thing I want to do is let's go ahead and give his skin just a little bit more color. So I'm going to go to my curves adjustment layer. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some red into this and some uh, yellow, which is the opposite of blue. So I'm going to drag down there. Okay. Now here on my layer mask, he just needs a little more color in his face. Um, just a little bit. There we go. Here on my layer mask, I'm painting white at 100% uh, visible everywhere his face is. You don't need to get the eyeballs, but everything else you'll want to get here. Okay. Now, here's a kind of important note here. Whenever you're working with, you know, coloring people and saturation and whatnot, keep in mind that saturation, I'll face the camera, saturation is never going to be the same with the highlights and the shadows. Sat shadows will always be less saturated. So if you're coloring a person's face, you cannot have this color visible as visible in the shadows as the highlights or it will never look real. So here's how to avoid that. Double click here. Let's bring that over here. Hold Alt or Option and say your underlying layer. I don't want this to be visible where my underlying layer is darker. So hold Alt or Option, click here, and just drag from left all the way to the right and hit OK. So hit Command Z. See how that looks fake? It just doesn't look real at all. Command Z again. Oh, that looks how your skin looks. Cool. Command Z. So, and here's the before and the after. So now you can see when I turn this back on, you're like, oh, he really did need some color because here's the before and here's the after. So it should be re relatively easy to see that he did in fact need that color. Okay, now you can go in here and do some subtle adjustments to the color, like I could add even more red or take away even more blue to get a different, a slightly different hue on his skin, but he definitely needed that color. There we go. And it wound up going a little more towards the yellow side. Okay, so that looks good. It's almost, it's almost there. The next thing we're going to do is, uh, just for fun, I'm going to hit Shift Option Command E, and that's going to make a stamp visible layer. And then I'm going to hit Command T and kind of just stretch this, stretch this a lot like that. And uh, let's bring the opacity down and move this over here. That's cool. And uh, bring the opacity up. Now I'm going to go to Filter, Blur. We're going to go to Motion Blur. And I'm just doing this for style because I think it's going to look cool. And uh, yeah, let's set our angle to zero and distance way up there. So we got a big motion blur. Now let's change this from normal to something like soft light. There we go. Or even, let's try overlay. Get it show up just a little bit more. It's just going to create a cool effect. And I don't want this to be visible where the underlying layer is darker because it's just making our suit a little bit too dark. So I'm going to double click this, hold Alt or Option, and go again from the left to the right, just like that. There we go. And now it's only going to be visible where the underlying layer is lighter and we can just pop a layer mask on this. Grab like a brush, just a large brush and paint black on this layer mask. There we go, to get it to kind of like fade away in the way that you want it. If you want it to sh show up everywhere, cool. I was just kind of like using it as something that's gonna like hang out behind him. There we go. I'm gonna hit Command J to kind of duplicate this. And then let's just fill this layer mask with black by hitting Alt or Option Delete and then just add a little bit more, kind of coming off of the back. Coming off the back of them there. So it's got a little bit more depth. You can see that it just gives it a little bit more. Cool. I think that looks good. Now the only thing we need on the top of this is to add a couple colors. We're going to add some blues to the shadows and some yellows to the highlight. That's going to put another layer of yellow over the highlights in front of his face, well, on his face. And then the blue in the shadow is going to be a really nice contrast there. So I'm going to grab an adjustment layer. We're going to go down here to levels and I'm going to go to our blue channel and let's just pull that in from the left right about there and pull it in from the right as well, which is going to give us that yellows and those highlights. And this is going to give us that like kind of editorial look. Let's see about if I go into my red channels and pump a little more red in there, what we like. A little more red or, you know, I don't even mind it a little bit on the green side. Um, yeah, let's put a little, a little on the green side. Let's go back to our blue channel and really pump that up now because we did add that little bit of green in there. Cool. And I think that looks really good. Last thing, over top, because we have this kind of special effect there, 
Let's just create a new layer. I'm gonna hit Shift Delete to fill this with 50% gray. We'll go to Filter and down here to Noise and then over here to Add Noise. Let's click on Monochromatic, hit OK and then go to Soft Light. This is just gonna add some nice noise on the top of our image which is gonna help sell that little effect we have going on there. I'm gonna hit V in the number three and that's gonna bring our opacity of that layer to 30%. There we go. So if I zoom in, you can see it's just a, just a little bit of noise here. Kind of ties things together. All right, there we are. Now I'm gonna hold down the Shift key and click on all those, hit Command G to group them together. So we can see, what's this look like? The before and the after. Hold Alt or Option and there's our before and our after. Not too bad. Not too bad indeed, sir. And it really didn't take that long. It's a little bit on the yellow side. One thing we could do is, let's go back in here go to hue slash saturation. Okay, and I'm gonna choose my yellows. Let's grab this eyedropper and go right over here. And we can just drop our saturation a tiny bit. There we go. That way his skin doesn't look so yellow. Cool, looks a little bit better. All right, so again, our before and our after. I like it. I think we did a good job and uh, just makes the image look a little bit more complete. That's it guys, I had fun with that. I hope you had fun with it too. If you do anything like this ever in your life, Leave it in a comment down below. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, Florin. Have a great day. I'll flirt you guys later. Bye, everyone. Man, I like having this music on in the background. It helps with the flow a lot more, Chris. Yeah, yeah it really does.